This will be Paul messing with some sounds. Yeah! 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 So what software we're we using here, Sticky Boy? We are using uh, Logic Pro 9 in 32-bit mode. Right. On a Mac, obviously. Yep. And we, although we use my mobile rig to record with, which is basically a RME. Um, Fireface 800, yeah. it all records at the same bit rate, and in okay. the studio I've got the mast, the sort of big daddy of the RME bits, which is the ADLA QS um, converter, which is really cool. But it's exactly the same mic pre's and everything we use on the mobile. Rig. So yeah, this is just Chris and I from, well you and I, yeah. you and I, Hello. it's you and I, Me and I. Uh, working Me and on I. Five Knuckle Shuffle, and um, we haven't played for ages, so... <laughs> Oh yeah, we got that video of you doing that um. I can't do it! <laughs> it's kind of almost there. It's, still, it's just that bit. It's like we got quicker. <laughs> well, I got excited. <laughs> So we're just having a... That's how it's dodgy. We're just having a listen, really, see... So what are you doing here? You're adjusting some sounds, yeah, or...? Yeah, yeah, just getting a quick... I mean, this is nothing really important, but it's just a quick mix for us to listen to, to criticise ourselves with. Sorry, Chris is having watch. problems with the cameras, because there's... If you see the floor, what I'm trying to walk around on... <laughs> Usually, it's tidy in here, but... Look at this! I oh, know. This is the state... Maplewood of, chaos! It's the state of my mind at the moment. So, it carries on and on, and there's my little corner that I can sit, look. Yeah, which you see, it's self-tidy, didn't I've it? I've never seen it this destroyed in my life. It is, yeah. Oh, look at this. There you go. You, you've been a busy boy. It's working, isn't it? I've been busy mixing. I've no time for cleaning. Oh yeah, so, cool um, mix. Anyway, yeah, so this is basically... Sounds pretty huge. So yeah, mic wise, we've got um, tonight we use the AKG D112 internal in the bass drum, a, Son, a Sontronics DM1B outside, Shure SF57 on top of the snare, Sontronics DM1S on the bottom of the snare, a Neumann KM184 on the hats, uh, two Sennheiser 421s on the toms, nice. AKG414 BXLS2s on the overheads, and a Sontronics Orpheus on the guitar cap. No, if I'd have, uh, I would have, I would have paid more attention at school. I would have told you now how many microphones there is. But can you tell us how many microphones we're actually using on the drum kit today? On the drum kit, mm. just look, there's ten in total. Ten microphones on the drum kit. If you want to get oh, awesome yeah, sounds, another, like... the other Sontronics Orpheus is out in front of the drum kit, which is a, a sort of mono bit of ambience in the room. Okay. Uh, otherwise, I'll just like a third overhead. Yeah, it's basically yeah. I mean, what I tend to do is I. I'll just use that to capture it, it's there if you need it. Yeah. And what you can also do is you can compress the shit out of that and make it really grindy and whatever and just blend a little bit into the mix if you want that kind of thing. Well, that's pretty cool. Um, yeah, so like I was uh, talking to you earlier about how we did the, or when I was mixing the Cat Iron Text Kit. Yep. I use some parallel compression and stuff in That there. sounded great by the way. That's a that's a great mix. Cheers. Cool, cool, cool. Everybody needs to get themselves a copy. Well, when we uh, when we do our video and our uh, we've got to get our artwork. Oh yeah, there's a video plan for the cacti <laughs> and the Texican and we'll try and be serious with it. Yeah, right. So anyway, back to tonight's yeah, we Back to tonight's out. shuffle. We've got the we much around with the heavy one because Chris is in a very different tuning to normal. Today I I'm all nervous now. I've got a camera on me. Today, uh, what, what, what am I telling them? Your tuning. Oh, my tuning. I tuned down to uh, D. So the whole guitar, instead of being E, is tuned down to an E. Uh, D. What did I just say? Yeah, you tuned to. Can I have my beer? Oh, I need some uh, some throat oil. Sorry. Throat oil. <laughs> that sounds okay. <laughs> That sounds like a dodgy film. Cut! So the problem is, we, we, can't, him. we can't get hold of him because we don't know who he is. Normally tuned to E, I've tuned down to D and then dropped the C. So basically it gives it a bit more of a ballsy sound, I guess. Um, makes it sound a bit more raunchy, a bit more sexy and a little bit more... Um, 
uh, five knuckle shuffle I guess. Um, but it sounded great uh, with the amp and the guitar. Had my Les Paul uh, through the Marshall. It sounded wicked. I've got to say, yeah, I mean, to be honest, I think that's probably. We went from like having a full on ballsy um, jam, which was wicked. Yeah. And that was with the, the JCM 800 and 412 in the kit, which was great. And then obviously, when we start tracking, the drums, we DIU and use amp emulation. And that sounds kind of awful in the cans. You lose all your sustain and monsterness. Yeah, it and kind of, well, it doesn't sound bad. I mean, we're only using Logic's inbuilt one. Oh, yeah, tracking, yeah, yeah. Um, where stuff like the Line 6 ones and all that, uh, they, they sound great. But it's not the same as recording in the room. No, we're, it's we're, totally... We're, uh, we're old school rock dudes, aren't we, really? That whole vibe and feel of loudness and volume and... Well, you kind of feed from it. it. Makes you play a certain way if you get yeah. a certain vibe. So when we did, kind of, that's when we started having problems with really, it. We go, it's not happening. It's not happening today, boy. So if you're out there, if you're listening to this message, get your ass over here. So yeah, I'm just gonna. Um... So here you see uh, a picture of a fake marshal. <laughs> a fake marshal. Yeah, there's, there's a lot of fake marshals in this house. What do you mean in this house? Well, you got those little two things. What my little. Shut up, that's not Those fake. Those cigarette box marshals, and then you got your bloody transistor radio. Oh, that's harsh, man. Look, there's even a cab. Well, you can make the cab bigger. Nice. Can I have a 20 by 12? 20 by 12. <laughs> that's pretty impressive stuff, though. Uh, yeah, we had green 25. Is that what we had? Ooh. Oh, look at Whoa, monster. Is this now the mic sound or is this the DI sound? It's DI sound. Is it really? See, I couldn't hardly tell the difference. <laughs> Sounds pretty monster to me. Sounds alright. It don't sound bad now, does it? Problem is, you always seem to be lacking a bit of sustain. But sustain is what makes the I say oh, world yeah. go round, but it doesn't. What? Pretty badass. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> oh yeah, baby. <laughs> muscle. That had a lot of muscle. The other thing we discovered tonight is we um. Where are we? Hang on, I'm. Well, you, can talk, you can talk. No. Nope. The other thing we discovered is, <laughs> is we started playing. Well, we did the usual getting too into it and start playing a bit too quick. Oh man, yeah, we started sounding like a speed metal band in the <laughs> end. It was like, <laughs> yeah, we both hit, we're playing too fast. That was really know, quick though, wasn't it? Yeah, I know. That was like, fuck. It's because you're it's, three times the speed. It's because we were trying too hard. Do you think yeah. that's what it was? Yeah, it's because we haven't played for ages. Well, that's the problem, isn't it? Yeah. I guess. Yeah.